Hello, fellow plant enthusiasts. So here I have a planter that is like basically the tray method for keeping your plants watered and happy. And this was not cheap. And one of the reasons is not because it's very elegant compared to the typical kind you find, but this is solid sheet copper. And it's been designed to fit in a semicircle and welded to hold water. If you notice here, there are a couple quarks on each end if I want to drain it, but that drain was unnecessary. After I bought this, I realized something. And I'm going to show you guys the secret to how you can prevent mosquitoes in your tray of water. Now, I'm sure some of you are wondering what I have over here on the left. And basically, I just, you know, planted some figs and they're growing. So these, this is all new growth because it's August and the, the stems can basically dry out more readily. I put a bag of water of, um, over it to retain humidity and then it traps the humidity in the water. But you can see all this new growth. These have rooted, they're hard to pull out and I probably could transplant them pretty soon into individual pots but I might wait till the spring I'll see so anyway that's what I have here so if you ever get cuttings you don't have to keep them refrigerated and stuff until you can plant them in the early spring or winter you can literally propagate figs any time of the year that's the beauty of figs I have a few more here and this is basically some segments of the Violette de Bordeaux, like I have here where I did some air layering. But enough of that. You know, now that I've um, basically satisfied your curiosity with these bags, let's get down to preventing mosquitoes in your watering tray. Looking at this tray, you have all the stagnant water. But look, you don't see any mosquitoes, even though mosquitoes love to breed in stagnant water. Now, since I've had this, it's been a few weeks, got this at a secondhand store. So if you leave any comments on where to get one of these, I have no clue. And this, you know, wasn't cheap even at a secondhand store. But anyway, I've only seen one mosquito larva in here, and that's probably because it didn't die yet. Now, it is so easy to prevent mosquitoes without using chemicals. You have this product called Mosquito Bits where you put these granules in trays and you're talking about chemicals. You also have copper sulfate which is used in pools to prevent mosquitoes. But copper sulfate, if you use more than like a percent or so of solution of copper sulfate, it's going to kill the plants. If you lose, use less than percent, it can act as a nutrient. So it's a kind of interesting but also it's a chemical. So, the fact that this tray is copper is why it's preventing the mosquitoes from having their larva reach adulthood. And that is the secret. Now, you have all these plastic 1x2 watering trays, and those can be easily treated with copper to prevent mosquito larvae from forming in there. Here we have one of those simple watering trays that you can pick up from nurseries that stock them. Not every nursery will choose to stock, you know, nursery pots or these trays for people, but some specialty plant stores and nurseries will have them, or you can order them offline. So one thing you can do is get copper piping. You put enough copper pipes and you know, you can just take segments if you're a plumber or you did some plumbing jobs in an old house and you salvaged some copper pipe, you could do that. But if you don't have copper piping, one thing you can do is pennies. Now, you don't want to put pennies from 1982 or later, like this one here, because it's just copper plated. I'm not sure how effective it will be. I haven't tried. If you try, feel, leave, uh, feel free to leave a comment. But you can put pennies that are predate 1982 or from 1982. If you want to know if a penny is solid copper in 1982 is when they change the composition, 
you can weigh them. If they weigh around 3 to 3.1 grams, you have 95% copper penny. If they weigh 2.5 grams, you have a zinc with a copper plated zinc penny. So that is the secret. And all you need, I did research online to validate that it was copper preventing the mosquitoes when I noticed mosquitoes weren't forming in the tray. And that's how I learned this. And one website claimed that as little as 10 copper yen, I guess they were looking at Japanese coins, was sufficient to prevent mosquitoes from growing in a watering tray. So just simply putting 10 copper pennies would suffice, or a few segments of copper piping, or maybe you can run a whole strip along the length of these if you wanted to. But yeah, it is so simple and copper is just a simple element and you are basically preventing mosquitoes without using any chemicals, just simple elemental copper. I hope you enjoyed this video, found it informative and now know the secret to preventing mosquitoes. Thanks for watching and happy planting.